to prepare common size ratios from your income statement, all you have to do is to simply calculate each income statement account as a percentage of sales. So the sales will be the base, the base for, for you to calculate these common size ratios. This converts the income statement into a powerful analytical tool. The gross profit margin and the net profit margin ratio are two common size ratios to which small business owners should pay particular attention. Even small changes of 1% or 2% in the gross profit margin can affect a business severely. After all, if your profit margin drops from 5% of sales to 4% of sales, this means your profit has declined by almost 20%, which is alarming for any business. Here we have a balance sheet for acoustic concepts. And what we have to do is calculate the cash and account receivables as a percentage of total assets. Let's start first with the cash as a percentage of total assets. Here, I have to mention that in the balance sheet, the base of my common size ratios is the total assets, whereas in the income statement, the base is the same. So here, what we have is cash. Cash amounts to 68,000 dirhams. The total assets is 506, 500 dirhams. So in order to calculate a common size ratio for the cash as a percentage of assets, all we have to do is 68,000 cash over the 506, 500 dirham. This will give me a 13.42% as a ratio, as a percentage. It means that we have to understand what's cash out of assets being 13.42. It means that 13.42% of acoustic concept assets are in cash. The figure by itself is not meaningful unless we compare it to our planned ratio or when we compare it to other companies in the same industry. As for the second ratio, receivables to total assets. If we look at the receivables on the balance sheet, this is the item accounts receivables. This is 26,000 dirham. Again, as common size, we take the ratio 26,000 over the total asset of 500. This is 5.13%. It means that 5.13% of acoustic assets are in accounts receivable. Here we can compare. If it is higher than that of last year, so if we look last year, the account receivable common size ratio was 1.89%. Now, when we compare it to current year account receivable ratio, which is 5.13, we realize that it is much higher. If this increase was not the plan, this might mean that acoustic concept may need to step up their collection process or put tighter limits on the credit they extend to their customers. Acoustic concert, turning from previous year to current year and receivables, they have so much cash in the market that they need to collect. Always remember, your goal is to use the information provided by the common size ratios to start asking why changes have occurred and what you should do as a response to it. If the profit margin has declined unexpectedly, for example, you probably will want to close the exam on expenses to see what went wrong. Again, using the common size ratio for expense line it will help you spot these significant changes that affected your profit margin.